Hello everyone, and welcome back. This is uh, Bronx Lock Pickle 60, and I'm back. Uh, as you know, I've been uh, out for a while. Uh, a lot of health issues, and uh, my daughter, you know, and... Uh, Back in uh, late uh, June, my mother passed away, so just, you know, everything building up, and just didn't feel like doing anything, but anyway, I'm back, um, so I am, I haven't picked in a month, month and a half, so I chose to pick this little stock lock. It's pretty heavy. It's uh, non, you know, unbranded uh, Yale style uh, keyway. And come on, baby. Hold on. There we go. That's the bidding. Nothing much. And as you can see, right there it says Yale. And five pinner. I have a bunch of challenge slots, but uh, I didn't think uh, that would be a good idea to start with that. <laughs> so, uh, you know, let's bear with me. And let's see if I can get this picked. One. Okay, right there. I was, I was about to pick it with, <laughs> with the key. Okay. And as always, I have not picked this. Like I said, I haven't picked in so long. I'm trying to make sure I focus. Okay. See it, I'm just picking it in my hand. Sorry. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I just picked like three pins. Uh, even though it's a stock, like I'm going to take it apart and just see what's in it. Got it and see what we got. Sorry. Okay. All right, Jean. Hold on. Come on, judges. It's been a while, so please forgive me. <laughs> oh, I also like to say I like to give up, give a shout out to Jason. Thorn Star. Uh, he is from Denver, Colorado. And he is a professional shoe shine uh, person. And let me tell you, when I say that, don't think of the uh, shoe shine kids or men from the 30s and 40s that had just a little box, a shoe shine box. And, uh, a rag of brush and black paste that was it now this guy he's he's like a magician I see him take some really messed up Gucci sneakers when I say Gucci they're real they're not knockoffs and uh, bring them back to life so if you kind of find that interesting uh, hit them up uh, his name is Jason Dornstar. D O R N S T A R. All right, so let's get back to this. Yeah, he's uh, he's a real good, real nice guy. He has a uh, a studio at home. 
that he uh, does his thing. Yeah. Yeah, these days, that kind of, that kind of stuff is, uh, is, uh, special art, you know. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Here we go. Here's a Java. He... Come on, get in there. That. Yeah, no matter what, I like to get something in there. Okay. That's not fit. Okay, this is a six pin core, but right now it's pin for five, and, oh gosh, I was hoping it wasn't wafers there, okay. And they all needed to be picked, but yeah, nothing done. Yeah. It's a stock lock, so. All right. One. Two. Four. Come on. Wow, a lot of junk in here. A lot of junk in the uh, in the lock or in the core. Let me turn these around, and like I said, it's nothing done. This particular lock was given to me by my brother, Steel Pennings. Well, there, I hope you're doing well, you and your family. Okay. Uh, for this, for the Bible, I'm just going to uh, do the pins. I'm not going to worry about, I'm not going to worry about the uh, springs. Well, Okay, so that's a the little uh, little uh, what do you call it? spool. Oop, sorry. And another spool and three. Let's go. Let's go down. Okay. Nothing in six, obviously. Another factory spool. And another factory spool. And from what I can see, looks like all the pant all the springs are the same. Okay. Okay, they're all standard model here. Spool standard. Spool, spool, and spool. All right, everyone. Uh, thank you for uh, watching. And I chose this lock for the simple reason that I haven't picked in a while. I didn't want to go with a challenge lock. Nor I wanted to go with like a master lock. So, <laughs> so I went with that. It's a little, not challenging, but the key weighs a little more, you know. Uh, restricted in a master lock. So everyone, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Uh, Jason, love you, man. And as always, stay calm 
and pick on. Thanks a lot, everyone. Bye-bye.